morning my dear children so uh, in the previous class in the science subject we have started the fourth lesson that is the brain and the senses so what is the name of the topic fourth lesson the brain and the senses i taught you know the meaning for senses senses means one of the faculties of sight smell hearing taste and touch all will come under senses so in this we saw the first topic the brain brain has been compared to a wonderful computer you can store anything and you can trash anything if you don't want right and then it has an assistant called the spinal cord so the brain spinal cord and the nerves forms the dash system what system nervous system okay so we saw that the brain is a delicate organ that means easily broken very very soft and then protected by a bones of the skull so it has many parts one of the largest part of the brain is we saw that the cerebrum so it has thought area movement area touch area vision area and then speech area hearing area and connected to a brain stem joined by spinal cord and we saw voluntary and involuntary actions so involuntary actions means the actions which we cannot control by our will or thinking for example breathing heartbeat and all we cannot control then voluntary actions like running writing speaking so these actions we can control okay and then we saw about nerves right nerves is compared to a wires okay then sensory nerves motor nerves the ones that carry messages to the brain to the brain or spinal cord to the brain or spinal cord is sensory nerves carrying messages to the brain or spinal cord okay the ones that carry messages from the brain getting the message from the brain or spinal cord are called motor nerves okay then we saw about the uh, we saw about an example the speech example right i think everyone understood now the next chapter is sorry next uh, topic is the spinal cord okay the spinal cord is a bunch of nerves so it's there in page number 15 15 15 15 page number 15 i want everyone to take page number 15 those who are not having book take out your rough note and note it down the spinal cord the spinal cord is a bunch of nerves running through the spine okay it acts as an assistant to the brain only some nerves are connected directly to the brain so the spinal cord is a bunch of nerves bunch means kottu kotta bunch bunch of nerves running through the spine spine is back okay it acts as an assistant to the brain so already we saw that spinal cord acts as an assistant to the brain so like for example uh, in a class there will be monitor class monitor and assistant class monitor if the class monitor is not there who will act act as a class monitor of course the assistant class monitor will act as a class monitor right so here the brain is a main part so who will assist and brain uh, the spinal cord will assist the brain only some nerves are directly connected to the brain the rest of the nerves are connected to the spinal cord now you can able to understand some nerves are only some nerves are directly connected to the brain rest of the nerves are connected to the spinal cord that means messages from the body 
reach the spinal cord which sends them to the brain. Similarly, messages from the brain come to the spinal cord which sends them to the different parts of the body. Okay, so messages from the body, from the body means from the different parts of a body, the message will just get, uh, it will come from the different parts of the body and it will reach the spinal cord and then the spinal cord will send the message to the brain. Okay, similarly same like that, messages from the brain come to the spinal cord which sends them to the different parts of the body. Here the spinal cord will act, will act as a mediator for the brain and for the different parts of the body. Okay, so in some cases the spinal cord acts on its own as a mini brain. So everyone just underline this word mini brain. M I N I B R A I N. Mini brain. So in some cases, this uh, the spinal cord acts on its own as a mini brain. There are times when you need to act fast. For example, when you need to pull away your hand after touching something hot. So in the previous class we saw that this thing will send the message to the brain and message will just send the message and the brain will send the message to the muscle and the muscle will send the message to your hand so you will move, you will take, you will push all those things we saw. So in some cases it is if we are waiting for the brain to send message it will be too late. So who acts as a mini brain here? Spinal cord. For which situations? When you touch something hot, what you people, what we will do? Immediately we will just take our hand, right? Immediately, within a second, instantly, we will just take our hand. So involving the brain in such cases would waste too much time, yes. So when you touch something hotter and you are waiting for the brain to send a message to take your hand from the hot thing, it will be too late. So who acts as a brain there? Ah, spinal cord acts as a brain there. Okay, that is why the body finds this shortcut. So our body finds a shortcut method. Such quick responses controlled by the spinal cord are called reflex actions. R-E-L-E -E. F-L-E-X Flex Reflex actions. Everyone please underline this word. Reflex actions. What is meant by reflex actions? Quick responses controlled by the spinal cord are called reflex actions. So the drawing shows what happens when you prick your finger. This drawing. I think you can able to see this drawing. Okay. So you can see this motor nerve. Motor nerve means what? The message that carries from the brain. From the brain or spinal cord are called motor nerves. Okay. So here you can see a pain sensor. The nail is just they are pricking the nail into a point of the finger. So what happens? Muscles pulls hand away. So this muscles helps you to pull the hand away from the nail after getting pain immediately. Sensory nerves. Sensory nerves means the ones that carry messages to the brain. Okay. Sensory nerves carry the sensation of pain to the spinal cord. So this sensory nerve carry the message to the spinal cord. You can see this wire like line. This is sensory nerves carries the message to the spinal cord. Okay. The spinal cord sends a message to the muscles. Now this spinal cord send the message to the muscle. Not going to the brain. Just coming from here going to the spinal cord and the spinal cord sending the message to the muscle. Okay. Through what? Through motor nerves. 
Motor nerves means message that carries from the brain. The muscles contract to pull away the hand. Now the muscles contracting to pull away the hand. So this is what is happening. Okay. I think you all understood. Now the next one. Page number 16. Okay. Page number 16. Next. The sense organs. Now we are going to see about the sense organs. Okay. The sense organs collect information from our surroundings and send it to the brain. So what is the duty of the sense organs? It collects information from our surroundings and it will send it to the brain. Not inside the body. It will collect the message information from our surroundings. Okay. Namla suttirkan surrounding. Since the sense organs are the news gatherers because it is collecting the information that is why it is said to be news gatherers. So you can underline this word news gatherers N-E-W-S news gatherers G-A-T-H-E-R-E-R-S gatherers that educate the brain. So now let us talk about them. Okay. So what is this? What it does look like? Of course it is an eye. Okay. The eyes we are going to see it. Okay. The eyes are shaped like balls. You can see here. The eyes are shaped like balls most of each eye is hidden inside a socket in the skull socket means hollow what eye okay in tamil we used to say socket socket means all hollow in the previous lesson bones and muscles we saw hinge joint ball and socket joint right yes so eyes eye is hidden inside a socket next inside the socket in the skull part this keeps the eye well protected the eyelid and eyelashes give extra protection so being inside the socket the eye is well well protected the eyelid and the eyelashes give extra protection for your eye okay so what is meant by eyelid? What is meant by eyelids? So eyelids means in Tamil we used to say kan imaigal. Okay, kan imaigal. Then eyelashes. So eyelashes means kan imai mudi varise. You are having hair, no? Yes. Uh, in order you are having hair on your eyes, right? That is said to be eyelashes. Okay. So if you look at your eye carefully in the mirror. You will see a dark spot at the center of this colored circle. This is called the pupil. So everyone just go to the mirror after the class. Okay. Just stand in front of the mirror. And see your eyes clearly. You can, you can find a dark spot at the center of the colored circle dark spot can you able to see yes okay this is called the pupil p u p i l pupil okay light enters the eye through the pupil so light no light it will enter uh, our eyes through the pupil only so behind the pupil is a lens behind means pinadi at the back Okay, behind the pupil is a lens. You can see in this picture. So, you can see in this picture, this dark circle, this dark color, this spot circle is said to be pupil. Behind the pupil, see behind the pupil, at the back of the pupil, you can see the lens. Okay, this is lens. 
so light enters through the eye through the pupil the light enters through pupil behind the pupil you can see lens okay unlike the lens of unlike the lens of a camera this lens is made of tissues and not of glass okay so in cameras and all you can see the lens which is made up of glass but in our eyes behind the pupil we have lens those lens are made up of tissues tissues okay the lens helps to form a picture so what is the job why it is there the lens it helps to form a picture of what we see on a screen at the back of the eye so at the back of the eye what we see on the screen it helps to form a picture the screen is called the retina now you can see the retina this part retina okay you are having nerve here nerve eye nerve retina pupil and then lens so i think you all understood this thing right so each eye has a special sensory nerve that carries information about the picture that is image formed on the retina to the brain so each eye we have two eyes right so each eye has a special sensory nerve that carries information about the picture what you are seeing image which is formed on the retina to the brain okay you could compare this to a cable carrying information to a television yes very good example they have given so we are all watching tv right television at home and the cable wire so you can just compare it okay so i as a each i as a special sensor you know that carries so the information the duty of the nerves are sen special sensory nerve is that it will carries information about the picture what we are seeing on the screen which is formed on the retina to the brain okay the brain reads or understands the two images sent by the two eyes and helps us see the thing that forms the images so the brain the brain needs reads or understands the brain reads or understands the two images sent by the two eyes and helps us to see the thing that forms the images see how very clearly they have given here the brain reads or understands the two images that the eyes has been sent to it and helps us see the thing that forms on the that forms the images very very clearly they have given so my dear children i think you all understood this part the spinal cord right motor nerves sensory nerves right and then first sense organ we saw about the eye right everything you understood i think so please please after watching this video please sit and go through it once again so after go throughing you will get a clear cut understand about this so now it's the time for the question answer process okay it's time to the question answer process here i have written five fillers so i want to check whether you can able to answer or not so dash acts on its own as a mini brain which thing acts as acts on its own as a mini brain of course spinal cord s p i n a l spinal cord c o r d spinal cord next step. quick responses controlled by the spinal cord or cord quick responses reflex actions r e f l e x reflex actions a c t i 
O N S reflex actions now the third one the sense organs are the dash that educate the brain so just now we saw the other name which we which they have given for the eye sense organ that means news gatherers n e w s news gatherers g a t h e gatherers r e r s okay next eye is hidden inside a dash in the skull inside a socket s o c k e t socket next behind the pupil is a dash so what is there behind the pupil of course lens l e n s lens my dear children so everyone understood this part i think so just go through read it at home thank you children